Okay, October boy. Well, in a way, you're right. If you're an atheist, there is really no God requiring you to act in a particular moral way. And um, what's interesting is not so much when things are nice and civilized, it's, it's when civilization breaks down that this becomes telling. When it's everyone for himself, people do lie, steep, cheat, and murder. And that has Darwinian benefit because they survive and they get to spread their genes. And that's survival of the fittest. However, it is better to form groups so that if you're allied with somebody, you have an advantage over people that are just out for themselves. Thus, we have evolved to live in society, to live in groups. And groups, by their nature, will have rules. I mean, if you cheat on the group, you're thrown out, and that's to your detriment, and that means that you don't survive, and your genes don't go on to create the next generation, and, and thus you're edited out of evolution. So, in short, we've evolved to live in groups, and groups always have rules. I mean, you even look at a buffalo or wildebeest herd or something like that. There's an alpha male who's in charge, and, you know, it's just something happens when creatures form together in societies. Look at ants. You see how they're all controlled and work together. If all the individuals in a group are not working towards some sort of common good, there would be no benefit in living in a group. And so that's really where we get our concept of morals. But hey, when it's everybody for themselves, <laughs> morals are pretty much out the window, regardless of whether you live in God or not.